Wall Street opened higher, rebounding from prior session weakness. The Dow Jones Industrial Average gained by over 100 points at the open. Shortly after the open, the Dow did pair some of its uh, gains, but is still higher by half a percentage point. The Nasdaq Composite Index and the S&P 500 are also up by over half a percentage point. Now, some better than expected U.S. economic data releases uh, help market sentiment, but also better than expected uh, sentiment uh, from overseas markets also helped boost U.S. equity markets. Now, over in China, the People's Bank of uh, China said that it will guide interbank rates to a reasonable range, and this did help ease some concerns about liquidity. Meanwhile, uh, central bank officials in both Europe as well as the U.K. said that the end of the easy money era is still a long way off. Now, taking a closer look at those numbers out from the U.S., we just got the release of new home sales for the latest month then it did gain more than expected, up by 2.1 percent. And the Conference Sports Consumer Confidence Index for the latest month soared above expectations to 81.4. Now that reading is for the month of June. Also earlier this morning, the S&P Case-Shiller Home Price Index uh, for the month of April rose to a record of 2.5 percent on a monthly non-seasonally adjusted basis. And taking a look at durable goods orders for the month of May here in the U.S., it did come in above expectations, gaining by 3.6 percent, helped by strength in in, uh, the commercial aircraft. And in terms of company news, uh, we are seeing shares of Lenar higher by 3%. The home builder posted fiscal second quarter earnings and revenue that beat estimates. Meanwhile, Barnes & Noble shares are tumbling by 13% at the open after reporting a loss that did uh, dub more than double in the latest uh, fiscal third, uh, fourth quarter. And Walgreens shares are down by 7% at the open. This does come as its fiscal third quarter earnings missed estimates. And over the foreign exchange market, the U.S. currency is seeing mixed trading uh, higher against the euro, but weaker against both the British pound and the Japanese yen.